So next, we're going to look at a different data set, a larger data set, one that shows major differences. We'll first take a look in Agisoft. Here I have four different projects or four different data sets inside of one project in Agisoft. This is 150 acres and it's about 535 cameras or images. I had four flights. Each one of those flights was about the same. So we're going to take a look at how to view all four data sets at one time and then how you can merge them. Then we're going to take a look at the same method in Pix4D. All right, so first you click on this icon up here and it'll show you all four data sets. The first thing you might notice is that they are not all perfectly aligned. So you click on Align Chunks. You have different options. You can align them by point base, marker base, or camera base. So then you have the option to merge the chunks. One thing I really like about Agisoft is that you don't always have to have the dense point cloud. You can create mesh from the sparse point cloud. And if you don't need the dense, it will save you a ton of time. And speaking of time, at the end of this video, I'll give the time it took for both projects in Agisoft and Pix4D. Now let's see how Pix4D measures up in their process. All right, here we are in Pix4D. We have the same project that has 150 acres, 535 cameras. Now let's uh, look at the other three data sets. Oh, wait, I've got to open up another project. Okay, let's just go ahead and merge the projects so we can look at them together. Check that one. All right, now here we go. Let's take a look. Hmm. Hmm. There seems to be quite a few steps just to be able to uh, look at two different projects together. But it's going now, so just wait. All right, here we are in the Ray Cloud. And so it's merging the projects together. Let me pull this up so you can see it. All right, see here at the bottom, it's uh, still processing, merging them together. Hmm. Okay, I'm still waiting. Oh, we're almost there. Here we go. Okay, maybe I was wrong. So, how about this? I'll just close this project down and I'll tell you how it ends. So, if I had the patience, the way that it works is when you merge two projects together, you start over at step one. If you do go through step two, then you'll have to repeat that step once you merge them. Let me recap to pull this all together. Agisoft allows you to run multiple data sets in one project. You can run each data set all the way through the different processes that it needs and then merge them at the end. That saves your computer resources, allowing you to do more with less. Pix4D makes you go through step one, then merge projects to complete step two and three as one large project. 